So the first thing that we need to know in the waveguide is waveguide modes. So as you see in this picture, light that shows a higher intensity and, and blue light that shows a lower intensity. So as we see, this is our waveguide. So the light confined through the waveguide. But, but when we want to analyze the waveguide, we need to understand the waveguide modes. So waveguide modes are a special pattern of light that travel through the waveguide, like channel for light. And these modes, their shape stay the same as they move. And the, the shape of the waveguide decide which mode can exist. And these modes <clears throat> behave differently depending on the wavelengths. It means that when we change the wavelength, it is possible to change the shape of uh, waveguide modes. So, so as we see here, the waveguide mode is very important in, in the, in the waveguide analysis. And these modes, it depends on the geometry of waveguide and wavelengths. So this is another example of a waveguide mode. As you see here, we bend the wave, like for instance, if you bend the waveguide and so part of the light comes through this side. So as you see here in this picture, so the, the, mode, the shape of mode changes by changing the geometry of the waveguide. So what is the waveguide mode properties? So we have effective index, modal dispersion, phase velocity, group velocity, group index, group velocity dispersion, and loss. The corresponding equation for each parameter that you can see in this slide. But the thing that, for instance, in modal dispersion, the effective index depends on the frequency. And this is the origin of a group velocity, group index, and group velocity dispersion. So if just we have a one wavelength, so it means that it, the one wavelength experience one effective index. So in that case, the phase velocity uh, can, can be defined easily because uh, phase velocity is the, is the velocity of the wave that propagate with the specific wavelengths. But if wavelengths experience a, a different effective index, then when we want to calculate the velocity of like two, three, four wavelengths, we need to have a group velocity. So, and the, and the, and the group velocity dispersion and also is very important parameters, especially for the, for the communication. So imagine that we have a pulse and our pulse includes a different wavelengths. So each wavelength experience a different effective index. So it means that experience a different velocity. So if we have a high group velocity dispersion, it means that this pulse, when we, when we want to see the output of this pulse, so because we have a different uh, wavelengths, we have a different velocity. So at the output, we can see that our pulse broaden in the time domain. So this is the, um, the main concern for the, for the high speed uh, communication. Um, so we will discuss about the dispersion uh, in the next slide. So 